Welcome back friends. So a couple of weeks ago I did a collage that where I painted the edges black on the torn paper and I teased you a little bit and said that I was going to do something further to it. Well today is the day. So let's go take a look at what I did. I decided to do the word awesome up here with a thumbs up. I thought that would be fun. I created some fabric, paperbacked fabric that has some phrases in it. Let me see if I can pick out. Um, Believe in yourself for you are undeniably awesome and destined for greatness. Your kindness, compassion, and strength make you an inspiring person. Um, let me see. Keep it up and you'll continue to soar higher and achieve even greater success. So those three phrases are repeated on this sheet. We're going to use a rotary cutter to cut the fabric so that um, I can adhere it to this area here with some gel medium. But first I'm going to transfer this on here and I'm going to paint this background black and then we are going to start doing the mosaic part. Let's get started. So, oh, one other thing. I don't know if I ever showed you this water thing before. I, this is my favorite thing because it has three compartments. That way, if, I, if I'm using some black paint, I could use one of the compartments to clean my brush out. This one can always stay clean water for my gel medium. That way I don't get any murky water mixed in with my gel medium. A lot of times when I'm working with multiple colors, this is excellent. And it has these ridges on the bottom that help you clean your brush. So, you know, obviously I use this main area the most, but these other two are very, very, these other two are super easy when you're working in two colors, well, like I am today, gel medium. So I need clean and I need, um, I'm going to use some jet black gesso to create this hand. And I'm going to need this other, one of these other areas to clean my brush. Anyway, I just thought you might be interested in seeing that since I never showed it. Okay. First, I'm going to start with, um, positioning my paper to the board. So I get it flush to the side and I'm going to tape it down so it doesn't move. Okay, I need a nice sharp pencil and here's my graphite paper. The graphite side down, side down. I'm going to Stick it under here. And I'm going to start to trace. Hopefully you can see that. It's a fine line. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to cover up some of my favorite parts, but um, I'm not going to worry about that. I think this is going to take this particular piece to another level. Let's get a nice clean brush. So I'm using this flat ed brush because I, I like to get into the edges like that. I'm going to moisten it though, and I always have to have a rag nearby to knock off some of the moisture.
All right, so now we have to wait for this to dry. And then um, we could start our fabric mosaic. So I have my gel medium, my panel, my water, my clean brush, and a um, terry cloth rag to dab off some of the excess water. And of course, I have my rotary cutter and some fabric mosaics. I mean, <laughs> why do I keep calling it that? Um, my fabric. So I'm going to just take the paper off the back. And if you haven't seen this before, I use jacquard cotton fabric. I print on my inkjet. This is done in Photoshop. And now I have some fabric that I can work with. And I use the rotary cutter because it gives me nice, smooth, just goes faster than trying to use scissors or whatever. So I'm just going to do some random cuts here to get started. And then, you know, usually at some point I start trying to cut pieces that might actually fit. Let's get some pieces down and let's get started. So I like to sometimes start on a flat edge, you know, like since this is right butting up against the edge of the board. And then I try to find pieces that might actually work with the space that I have. So I'm going to speed this part up, be back in a few.
Okay, that's what we have so far. So now I've cut some Cricut material, some removable vinyl that I'm going to put up here and we're going to paint the word awesome and then we will be finished. Okay, so here's the word awesome that I cut. It's going to go up here like span like this is an eight inch wide panel and this is going to be seven inches. So I am going to weed out the letters. And this is a re removable vinyl. And then I'm going to use some of this transfer tape. Well, I think I'm going to line it up with the straight edge, but leave an overhang so it'll be easy to take off. So that's, that's the plan anyway. And instead of using um, a catalyst wedge, I'm going to use a hard one. Um, I just feel that it works better. So I have one of these, it's, it's stiffer and it burnishes really well. Okay, so the trick is getting this stuff started. <laughs> I always have trouble with this. So I try to lightly cut one of the corners so that it doesn't go all the way through. Okay, once you get one corner 
don't, oh jeez, that wasn't good. Okay, I have plenty. Okay, I want that straight edge. So, I'm just going to pull the whole thing off. Not how I would normally do it. Thing that I'm going to do is cut. So I, if, if you're familiar with my work, I always like my letters to go sort of off the top of the board. So I am going to cut this. I want it. I want to still be able to see, you know, the peaks of my E and my S. And I should have gotten a new blade. There we go. So this will sit up here like this. And I also have to get my middle point and my middle point here. Cause I took off that piece at the top. Notice how I have this empty space here and I'm not liking that at all. So I am going to cut this apart and kind of kind of push it together. So I I want things to look better visually than exact exact math because um, this looked good when it was a full letter but now it does not look good so i am going to trim it on an angle might be easier to deal with so this is going to be a little extra work but it's going to be fine every time i have a w in one of these i have a problem so now we can you know, make it look better by, by pushing it closer together. I might even take a little bit of this. For you graphic designers out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes we have to mess with the type to make it look better. In the world of typesetting, this is called kerning. <laughs> now I've got to figure out how this is going to look on the board and still be looking centered. I think that looks good. Okay, so this is where it gets a little tricky. I'm going to make some marks just to try to get this in the same spot. I'm going to start with the small one. Here we go. If I could just find that little mark that I just made, <laughs> that would be helpful. It's got to be over here. Oh, I think I can see it right here.
Okay, there we go. One down. I'm going to burnish the front a little bit better. I don't want I don't want these like the middle of the O to not come up and stuff like that. And I always kind of pull a little bit like this. And you can see it works pretty good. Now this is removable vinyl, and I think it works better than the smart vinyl. It, the, it comes off of the backing a lot easier. So now I have to find that other little mark that I made. Let me see. Does that look right? So now I'm going to paint, and I like to use little brushes for this. Oh, I forgot. Put this in with the black. I always put some gel medium on first. Hopefully, I didn't really mess up. This seals the edges. Gives you a nice sharp letter. And of course we have to wait for this to dry. Pray that that's okay. So I noticed I had a little bit of an overlap here, so I'm probably going to have to touch up this little... <clears throat> I tried to lift it and it was only making it worse. So we're going to see <clears throat> if we can get some... Well, I'm going to have to hand letter that part, I think. So I'm going to wait for this to dry and then I'm going to do a second coat. Okay, so now my second coat is finished. Okay, let's give this a try. This part is so scary. Um, I'm just always afraid that I'm going to ruin my paint, painted papers here. Um, okay, let's see. All right, that part, eh, I'm going to have to touch that up. That is why you want to put, you want to seal. See this like right here? This is why you want to seal with some gel medium before you start to paint these letters. But my paper held. So the removable vinyl is definitely 
you have to make sure you're not using permanent vinyl. And I'm always worried that it's going to pull my paint up, but it, so far it never has. So my e, my e is going to need some work because I overlapped those two. Oh, the mistakes that we make, it happens. But we can fix them. You have to really concentrate and you want to make sure that you don't move too fast out of impatience because you want to make sure that you get that clean edge. You don't want to be pulling up your papers. Okay, so here we go. Beautiful. So my E needs fixing here and my other E needs fixing there. So I'm going to be painting the sides of this black, which will look much nicer with this type running off on the edge as black. So let's see if we can touch this up. What a mess that is. I'm going to have to fix it. So you know, part of this black that I'm seeing here is from the torn paper. So I don't think I have to fix it at all. Because I'm also noticing over here it's from torn paper. So here I, here I was thinking it was the bleed, but it really wasn't. It was from the torn paper. All I do have to fix is this area over here. I'm really happy with the way this came out. So I'm going to paint the edges black and then I'm probably going to seal the whole thing with um, GAC 200, maybe even do a, um, a resin coat on this one. Now that I have a studio, I will be able to go back to resin. So this is it. I'm so happy with the way this came out. This is exactly how I envisioned it. I, I really wanted to do a thumbs up for quite a while since this little boy, friend of mine's son, told me that he wanted me to do a thumbs up. And this was a while ago. He was a lot younger. Um, he came to my studio when I was here at Baca. And he thought, my mother, I think, asked him, what should she do next, you know, in the hand symbols? and he did the thumbs up. So anyway, Cameron, this is for you. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I didn't want to say like, I didn't want to do like, so awesome, I think is a much, much better word. And um, I've already read you the, the phrases. So anyway, I painted the sides black. I think once I'm, I might still do the resin coating, so you might see that as a video in the next coming weeks after I'm in my studio. So that I am moving in probably a week and a half. And you know how moving goes. You don't always, I, it would be nice to just have everything miraculously in its place. But I also have to have a place to record and a place to store all my stuff. So it's going to be a while before I'm actually able to give you a tour, but I will try to give you some sneak peeks. Anyway, don't forget, create, inspire, and share, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.